Uh, this is the programster, aka Stuart Page, and I just want to real quick go over my latest t -t tutorial because it does look a bit complicated and it's actually bloody simple. Um, so I should, probably should use that language on the internet, but anyways, all you gotta do to... Um, it, it's all about running multiple uh, websites on the same host with the help of Docker. Um, and the advantage is uh, you, containers, basically. You can move them around between hosts without any fuss. So um, this is just a way to resolve the issue where uh, some people might be running one container per host, uh, which is not very efficient in terms of resources and can cost you a bit more. Whereas with this method, you can run all your websites on a single host and maybe make that host a little bit larger. All you gotta do is, I'm gonna use my template here to deploy two websites. So I'm gonna literally just go go to my desk, oop, desktop and clone my website template twice. Uh, I'm gonna call it website one and I'm gonna do the same again. And I'm gonna call it website two. Uh, oh, nope, 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 Docker website two. Cool. Um, and I'm then gonna just go in there and change the settings. And this is website one, so I'm gonna call it website one org and I my I don't know if I have a Docker registry. One sec, ping Docker registry dot Cramster dot org. Uh, probably I don't know if that works, but you can skip that. You'll see in a second. So I'm gonna call this website one. Cool. And I'm then gonna do the same with website two. Uh, obviously, if you already have a website um, Dockerized then you won't have to do this. Oh, no, yeah, oh, yep, ignore the setting, that file. Ah, oh, I'm getting myself confused here. That's just, no, wrong. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna call this website two. It's just an abstract name to give you, so you know which project you're running. So this is website two dot programster dot org and Yeah, if you have a private registry, then you can do that. Cool, and I'm gonna set website two to output. When I go to the website, welcome to website two. Let's put, yeah, no, that's actually not do anything there. And project index.php. Welcome to website one, Woohoo! And we have got to update the DNS. Well, I'm actually just changing my computer to point to the server, which is gonna be my own computer. Uh, so website one, or the programster.org. And I'm gonna do the same, to siren.0.0.1. Website two programster.org. Cool. Uh, so that's that. Uh, now, I get the feeling I'm missing something. Oh yes, Composer. You have to pull down... I don't didn't commit the, the files to git, obviously. Uh, so all you gotta do... Just run a compo... I, I run it in debug mode, just for giggles. So ignore the extra output. That's not an issue. Uh, project... Is there an update? Playing the same framework there. Cool. So that's that. And that's that. Let's clean this up a bit. We all right. First of all, though, you can see I'm not running anything. If I go to website one.ramster.org, 
nothing will appear and the same will happen with the website too. Cool. And then all you gotta do notice I haven't been messing around with ports or anything like that. You just gotta CD desktop. I'm gonna build my containers, so website one. I've got scripts that do this for you. Project Docker. All you gotta do is do bash build. Uh, so that's web website one. Let's go website two. Desktop CD. I always get that wrong. CD website two. CD, CD project. CD Docker bash build. Let's build that. And oh, it's actually run container, not start container. I'll have to fix that. And then that's running. That's running. So the, this will run the reverse proxy mentioned in this tutorial and it will run website one and website two. It doesn't run the, the proxy twice, just runs it once from the, yeah, you'll see from the scripts. Uh, so now website one, ramster.org, that's website one and website two is there. I know that was really quick, but hopefully it demonstrates the point where it's really, really, really simple to get some PHP websites running on the same host using Docker um, incredibly quickly. You don't have to mess around with IPs or um, ports or anything like that. So it's been it's been good talking to you. I uh, hope you enjoyed and found this useful. Goodbye.